And so Blue Ridge Mama said, hey, you know, you sent the wrong item to somebody. I said, really? I said, yeah, it was one of those red, white, and blue vintage 70s dresses. And I'm like, one of? <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. My name is Kevin and we are in the cabin and just a little warning here before we get started. So I see Turner out there and Reagan out there, even Bubba was out there playing with those two. They got a frisbee, they got a skateboard, they got all kinds of stuff out there. So if you hear a little something in the background, that's what you're hearing and we're going to pull them in here in about 10 minutes or so and show you what's sold out of the Homeschool Hustler store. I think just one thing today and I had something happen that has happened from time to time. I don't like to talk about it too much because it's me being absent-minded. But in the interest of being transparent, I'm going to tell you. So I shipped the wrong item to somebody. Matter of fact, I had two things. I had one thing sell, and I took a very, very similar item. I thought it was the exact item, and I shipped it to somebody. And they sent a message back to me, and they said, it's the wrong item. And I'm like, really? Is it the wrong item? And so Blue Ridge Mama said, hey, you know you sent the wrong item to somebody? I said, really? So yeah, it was one of those red, white, and blue vintage 70s dresses. And I'm like, one of? <laughs> See, I didn't list it. She listed them. And so she knew there was two. I had no idea there were two. And we have them hanging up in two different locations. And there was the mistake. She usually brings items down to the eBay cave and puts them in a particular place. And then I put them where I want to put them. Well, these came down and she put them where she normally puts them. And I never distribute them into my little system of getting things organized. So... Long story short, I sent an item out to somebody. It would be no problem usually because I would have said, oh, I'm so sorry. Would you please ship it back? I'll pay for the return shipping. I'll ship your new item out. The only problem is about a half an hour, Murphy's Law right here, half an hour before we got that message, somebody bought the other dress, the dress that I had already sent off. They were two dresses and they were very, very close. Now I could have and I probably should have looked on there and been really, really careful. Like I normally am with this kind of stuff, but this time I just didn't do it. I shipped it out. I'm like, how many red, white, and blue 70s dresses could we possibly have, right? And so here's how I solved it. I messaged the person who had just bought the other dress and I'm like, listen, I have already shipped this item off to somebody else and they're going to return it probably, but I can't guarantee it. And I don't want you to wait for days and days and days. Would you prefer me just to cancel this order and then let you know when I get it back and I'll repost it? And that way I was able to get their permission to cancel the order. And so you can put in that they requested to cancel the order. And that's what I did. I got the other item back. I shipped, I immediately shipped out the correct dress to the person. When the other dress arrived, I relisted it. I sent I sent a message to the person. I relisted it, and it sold. And I haven't even checked. I probably should to see if it was the same person who bought it or not. Either way, it has sold again, and we're going to ship it out today, and I'll show it to you. At any rate, we are going to run the little giveaway today for Lonnie's knife here. Where did I put it? I can't even remember. Here it is right here. So Lonnie's knife right here that was given to us. And if I remember when we do that, I'm going to tell you again who gave it to us. Matt was his name and tell you his store name and remind you of his story. So somebody's going to win this today. So hang around. I don't know. We'll either do it halfway through the video or at the very end. I'm not quite sure what order we're going to do it in just yet. But we will definitely have a winner for this guy. And somebody's going to enjoy this because Lonnie, once again, is sold out of these knives. But in the meantime, I'm going to tell you a couple other things I want to talk about today. But let's take a look at what's sold. We did sell some pretty good stuff with some pretty high numbers, but it looks like a bunch of stuff came in after I was doing this today. So tomorrow we're going to have some pretty good sales as well. So take a look. All right, we had a couple of camera type items here. This is a Sunpack Video Light, $9.95 plus shipping. It is nothing amazing. I think I picked it up at a garage sale in a box full of this kind of stuff. And so we're not making much on this, but we're well into the profit. Vintage camera stuff. If you get the right stuff, it'll sell. This isn't a great item with a great price, but it sells for sure. Here's an old Minolta camera. This is a Minolta 7000. Again, it's not the most amazing camera in the world, but there are a couple more lenses and a few other accessories in there, which made this thing sellable. There's a lot of them out there that aren't selling, but it's just this right here. Whenever you have the extras, it makes it a little bit easier to sell. So I normally would part some of this stuff out and sell the lenses individually, but this is a hard unit to sell by itself. So I decided to keep it all together and make a sale. $42.95 plus shipping. We got this one from the Joyce Junk Sale last June, which I haven't heard anything about, but my guess is it's probably canceled or at least postponed 
because it is a massive sale and people are just jammed in there. All right, here is a Rotex 780. See what I did right there? I used this. It's the little label maker, old school style. I put eBay and some money signs on there. <laughs> and it sold pretty quick. I think this may have sold to a viewer and I didn't write it down. Keith, maybe, I think. I'm not quite sure if Keith, I shouldn't say that. Keith's bought quite a bit lately from us. So if it is you, Keith, thank you. If it's not, thank whoever bought this thing out there. I appreciate it. You know, old technology sells. It needs to be clean, for one. It needs to work and preferably not weigh 800 pounds, and you can sell it and make money. So this is exactly what it is, and this thing works, the old red style stick-on label, and it's a pretty cool little machine. I paid next to nothing for it, sold for $25 plus shipping. All right, here is that dress right here. I could take it out, but I'm just gonna leave it in there. and Just take my word for it that it looks an awful lot like that other dress we sold, 19 99 and I screwed up on shipping. This is a consignment item So I'll eat the cost on the extra shipping charges that I had to eat which isn't much and certainly not much when it's keeping a customer Satisfied, but we have made a bunch of money so far on this consignment the sunny share sale And this is a cool little dress and it's no surprise that it's gonna sell in the summertime You know, we just went through Memorial Day here But July 4th is coming up and somebody's gonna wear this vintage 70s dress All right, you know, we still have two more of these guys right here cool guy but we don't have the cool guy left. I think we have the flirt and the wink emoji one. I'm not quite sure. We have one of each of those, I believe. But this is the last one of these. And this is the cheapest of the bunch. I think $7.99 plus shipping. And we paid $2.50. So you do the math. We're not making very much money on this thing at all. But finally, finally, I had stacks of these things to my ceiling almost in the eBay cave. And we are down to two left, which is awesome. And we are definitely going to get rid of these this summer. And we're making, you know, five bucks on this thing maybe at this point. We were making a lot more at one point, but at this point, I don't want them to go another season. So we're definitely going to sell the last two of these. You know, I've been doing this long enough to know that if you find something that kind of hits your heart a little bit, then somebody else out there will want it. I don't know how many of you out there remember Santa and the Three Bears and Mr. Ranger. But this was something I distinctly remember growing up and watching. I remember watching, you know, Yogi's Christmas. I remember thinking that was great. And then I watched it with my kids and I'm like, oh my gosh, this thing lasts three hours. But this one was pretty cool. I remember watching it with my brother. Matter of fact, when I bought this, it was a quarter and I bought it at a sale at Roanoke. I immediately took a picture of it and I sent it to my brother and said, hey, you got to check this thing out. And he's like, oh my goodness, because he bought like a bootleg copy, a DVD of this movie and sent it to us when Reagan was really, really little. And so me and Reagan watched it when she was really little. And so I took a picture of it and I sent it to him. Look at that, look at that on the back right there. So this is headed out and it's not headed out for much, $12.99 free shipping. And it'll go in one of our record boxes over there. I thought about keeping it and putting it up in here, but you know, having a Christmas thing in here all year round, I wasn't quite sure of. But at any rate, this was cool. Tell me in the comments if you remember this being on TV once a year, I certainly do. And speaking of my brother, it reminds me that today is my father's birthday. So a little shout out to my dad, Pop. We love you, and we hope you have a great day. And I didn't send you a birthday present. But that's only because we're hoping to get to see you in the next few months once all this stuff gets passed, hopefully, God willing. And we're going to take you out to a nice dinner. We're going to give you your gift right then. All right, as always, I have a couple things in the back that I forgot to pull, maybe just one today. So I'm going to let you take a look at the one thing in the back I didn't pull. And I'm going to show you an item that came from a viewer that I think is really cool and will work perfect in a Commonwealth cabin. So let's take a look. All right, so first here is a pair of shoes, a Michigan tub. Actually, I think I've said this before, but Kansas, Oklahoma, Iowa are all shoe tubs. And I'm not a big fan of selling shoes, but when I find something decent, I'll usually pick them up. So here's what we got here. A couple of Nike Air Zoom shoes. I think they sold for $19.95 plus shipping, which is okay. And I picked these up for $3, so it's not a huge deal. But golf is one of the things that people can do right now. So people are out there doing it, and golf stuff is selling. All right, and the second thing, as soon as I put these shoes down over here. All right, first of all, this is from Tyler. And he's got a little card here with it. Happy hunting at Tea Plum. Which, by the way, y'all, I have put... I've been starting to put these back here. And I'm going to continue to put them back here. When people send me a little card or something. Sometimes I put them up there in the front. But I'm going to put some right here, too. Just a way, every once in a while, you can catch a glimpse of something. If you were nice enough to send us something. All right, so Tyler, thank you so much. And here's a nice little... That's what he writes on the back of the card there. 
So thank you. And we just got this Massachusetts plate yesterday. And Tyler had sent me a message last week saying, hey, do you have any Massachusetts plates? And I said no, and then one showed up. These are awesome. I love them. And they're in really good condition. A little green color. I think since we already have this area is going to be the Massachusetts area, I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to split these two plates up. And I'm going to put one right down there. Every once in a while when we do the shipping videos on Commonwealth Flipper, you can see these right here. So I'm going to put one right there. Then I think I'm going to put one right there, I think is where we're going to put it. All anyway, right, Tyler, thank you so much. And we are going to head inside and we're going to do a homeschool hustler sale maybe here and then head inside or vice versa. But let's take a look what's sold in there. All right, before I go any further and I forget because, you know, that's what I do. Apparently, I can't even remember to ship the right thing out. Before I do that, I just want to remind you that right now this is up for auction. And I think we're going to have Bubba sign it as well. He wasn't here when we did this first signing. So he's going to sign it in there and all of the proceeds for that, including the fees, I'm going to cover the fees, are going to end up going to St. Jude's because we're still in the month of May. I think it's got like three days left on the auction, something like that. Anyway, if you're interested, I think it's last time I checked just under 160 bucks. So anyway, thanks for everybody who's bid on that. And we can't wait to get that off to the winner and to donate all of those proceeds to St. Jude. Second thing is, I mentioned this yesterday, but the plans are going ahead. This show is no longer going to be on this channel, Commonwealth Picker. We're going to put it on the Commonwealth Flipper channel. The Picker channel is going to be for picking, and the Flipper channel is going to be for all of this. All of the reselling, all of the Q&As, the shipping, all that stuff. This show that we do every single day, or six days, I guess, uh, will be on that channel. So if you haven't already subbed over there, I'd appreciate it if you would do that. And last thing, I just want to give a giant thank you. It reminded me because I looked right down here and I see my GoPro Hero 8. I can't do this right. Let me do it this way. There you go. There it is. GoPro Hero 8 that we purchased not too long ago. And we're using that. The plan is to use that when we're going out to garage sales and sourcing and use the Hero 7 in the Commonwealth cabin. I'm using my phone as I always have in here, but that reminded me because I usually go and buy that stuff through other people's affiliate marketing links. And so whenever I have a big purchase like that, I like to go through an affiliate marketing link for some other creator out there. And I just wanted to say thank you for all the folks that have done that for me. It's amazing. I go on there, two, somebody bought two, well not one person, but two different people bought a Rolo printer through my link. And, you know, I get a little kickback. It's not a ton of money, but it is very appreciated that somebody would take their time to go to one of my affiliate links just to make sure they don't get anything for it. And we get a little bit of money when they do that. And I appreciate that. Just want to say thank you. It's not a ton of money, but it is just very kind of people to do that. And some people go through those links and buy anything and everything. I see people buying stuff that I don't even have linked in there. And I don't know who you are because it certainly doesn't show your name. But I just want to say thank you to everybody out there who's done that. Let's take a look at what's sold in here. All right, this is kind of a sad day. If you've been watching this show for a while, you probably saw me pick this up at a garage sale. And it's been sitting back here, usually sitting right back here underneath that TV. And it finally sold. I paid $3 for it at a sale. I remember the sale. i got to remember the name of it. I'll look it up in just a second and tell you. And I'll try to link it as well. I bought a bunch of signs. Matter of fact, the Norman Rockwell that's inside that Commonwealth cabin in there, I love that picture. It reminds me that you should take a break every once in a while. You're hustling, hustling, hustling. But don't ever forget why you're hustling and don't forget to enjoy the life you have while you have it. And that's why I show those videos of the streams and nature and stuff at the end of the videos because I really enjoy that. That's why I love selling and doing this hustle so I can relax and I don't have to stress out about paying the bills and everybody in the family doesn't have to go get six jobs. We just kind of do it together and we have to relax and enjoy those moments of peace and just calm. And that's why I like that painting out there. Just the boy just with his hat pulled down with his fishing pole doing a little bit of fishing. So anyway, I don't know why I'm telling you all that, but this was at that same sale, three bucks, and it sold for $95 plus shipping and set it out today. By the way, that garage sale was the garage sale that kept on giving, yada, yada, yada. I can't remember it, but I'll try and link it. It was a fun one and got a bunch of great signs and cool stuff. Sold a lot of it in a booth. Sold a lot of it on eBay. So this one is going out to Adrian. And he writes, hi, Kevin. Wanted my own Inaman to put in my own Canadian eBay cave. Brand new reseller. Just started reselling last week. 
thanks to you and the rest of the reseller community. I've learned a ton through your videos and I'm off to a fast start. I ran into a 10 item listing limit within the first day and sold two items the next day and sold two items on day one. Again, thanks to you, John, Lonnie, Matt, Justin, Ryan, and Pam, to name a few. You have me sourcing and selling better than I thought possible. So God bless you and your family. Adrian, thank you so much. I'm so happy that you made a couple sales already, and we hope this guy continues to help you get things moving. Thanks so much. All right, I have started parting out the vacuums that were in my shed. You know, we have a couple sheds. I don't know if you watch the Homeschool Hustler channel at all, but we're turning one of the sheds out there into a chicken coop for Reagan. <laughs> I have no idea why we're doing this, but that's what we're doing. And so I had to get Bubba, got all those vacuum cleaners out of there. He tested them, he cleaned them, sort of. And I started taking pictures and got them listed. And a lot of it started to sell. So this is one of the first pieces that sold. I saw a few more come across not too long ago. So you'll see them in the next few days videos here. And this one was fairly cheap. It's just the caddy. You know me when in doubt parted out, right? This is just the caddy for the machine itself. Now I paid $20 for this one. It's an SE machine. And there were tons of parts, attachments, hoses. So paid 20 bucks. This one went for $15.95 plus shipping. I lied. It went for $15.00 plus shipping. So we haven't recouped our money just yet on that machine, but we're going to on the next sale. And then everything after that will be pure profit. And when you part these things out, I usually part them out to the bare bones, but this time I did a little bit of a combo part out. Some of it was parted, some of it was full. So I'll let you take a look at that over the next couple of days. I was wondering when this thing was sell, we find a lot of Liberty University, you know, online learning type stuff. And this is the religion distance learning program. It's a four DVD set. I don't know if it's all the same one. I can't remember, to be honest with you. I haven't looked at it in a while. They look like the same case, but I have a feeling they're different. They're not all identical. At any rate, it sold for $28.81. Free shipping. It'll go out media mail. And I don't know what I paid for this. This has been in my store a long, long time, probably two years. And I've bought this stuff before and it sells pretty quick. So I'm not sure. Maybe this is Theology 201. I'm not sure if there's been some kind of a change. Obviously, all online learning is actually online. It's not DVD type stuff anymore. But nonetheless, I've sold it for the last five years, so I'm surprised this one took as long as it did. But it's gone $28.81 free shipping. All right, let's go back in the Commonwealth cabin and get those two homeschool hustlers, and they'll tell you what's sold. I think it sold to a viewer. The homeschool hustler sale was to a viewer today. All right, Turner, we sold something out of your store. What do you got there? Oh, uh, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> what, you don't know what that thing is? Uh, it has something with the devil. <laughs> it's a Tasmanian devil. Yeah, Tasmanian devil. And it's devil. a remote control holder. And you're wearing your Super Mario outfit there, aren't you? You Mario tonight? Yeah. Oh, you got the hood too. <laughs> you just get out of the bath? Yeah. Okay. Or shower. Shower. Okay. Look at you. You're hilarious. All right, show us the devil there. Tasmanian devil. And it's a remote control holder. And that came out of that. Remote control. That's right. It came out of that uh, auction buy that has turned out to be way more money than we thought. I thought I'd make a quick 50, but we've made like 150 on it. So mm -hmm. anyway, thanks for joining us, Turner. Oh, wait a minute. You know what? This came from a viewer. A girl being frugal. That's who bought it. A girl okay. being frugal. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're and frugal. she has, and she, frugal means cheap like your daddy. Okay. Right? <laughs> and she has a youtube channel and we've mentioned it before but y'all go over there and check it out a girl being frugal thanks bye all right here goes for the garage flip shed flips resizer tool go ahead and hit blue ridge mom is out here helping me and the winner is calico antiques would really like the box resizer thank you matt and shed flip so Matt is the Frito Guy IL. The Frito Guy IL. IL stands for Illinois. And he told us about his story of being disabled and being in a car accident and his joys of reselling because he feels he can do that. So at any rate, Matt, thanks so much. And check out his eBay store if y'all get a chance. That gift was from him. And we'd appreciate it. Calico Antiques, send me an Instagram if you can. If not, go ahead and send me an email and we'll get you all set up. Thanks so much.